your really quick and straightforward guide to buying vintage Polaroids. So usually if I find them for under $5, I just buy them. I can usually resell them. People usually like to buy them. And the main reason is because I test them. And so how do I test them? I'm going to go through everything. Just check the mechanics first, make sure everything's working. Look at the lens, make sure it's clean, no dust or mold. Um, and if it does have it, just put it back. You will find more Polaroids. One thing to do is look at the hinges when you open up the um, Polaroid, the body. Not a lot of moving parts on a Polaroid, so kind of um, easier to check, kind of easier to go through. One thing I do check are the roller bars. So sometimes the um, film packs will be left in there too long and they go on these roller bars. You can clean it, but it may not be worth the work. It's a lot of work to kind of clean them. But the one secret I do have is to build a battery checker. So this battery checker, I'll leave a link for it. Basically, it's four AA batteries connected to this piece of wood, which has um, two uh, metal strips on it and it just lets you check the cameras and so i check all my cameras and people pay a premium for that because it's not buying something that is not working you at least know that it can turn on and eject film so that's a close-up of it and how do i put it in i use an xx70 pack so uh i'll explain that a little bit but i put it in the camera and this is a 600 camera so i just have to uh jiggle it a little bit with this knife and it'll slide right in. The reason I use an XX70 pack is because it will work on all cameras. And then for 600, all I have to do is this little trick right here and it'll just slide right in. So then I can test all these cameras with one pack and that saves a lot of time. So being able to check the camera like that is where you're gonna get your money, where you get your bang um, for your buck. And so if you get one of those and build it, you can just pick up a lot more Polaroids and sell them. So which ones do you think about buying? I'm gonna leave a link to Dan Finnan's website. These are the ones he put up. But um, I've had these three and I sold them all. The first one is the Impulse AF and um, I didn't really use them so I just sold them. But they're pretty good. I, these are the ones I could find. This one's pretty famous, the Polar Lamb camera with the rainbow stripe. If you can find the one with the rainbow stripe, it's worth a little more. Still wouldn't pay more than five, $10 max for any of these because you have to test them. And the last one's the one step close up. So yeah, just go out and look for these cameras. Don't be afraid to buy them, but buy that uh, tester. Make that tester for yourself.